what's going on guys welcome back to the channel today in this video we're going to be following up my how to uh, simple far driver kit video and today we are going to be hooking up a dkd display and a suron style throttle this one's a cheap amazon throttle but uh the color coding is differently so i do want to just let you guys know what it is super simple we got the pro taper pillow tops going on we got the dkd display all wired up getting ready to show you guys that we have a far driver or excuse me a dkd mount that'll go straight to your bars 3d printed from my man marcos ramos uh i'll show you guys some pictures over the screen here in a second but uh, i'll give you guys a way to get a hold of him through facebook uh right now i believe he's only going through facebook but later on when he gets his website up i will be sure to link it down in the description uh, but yeah check out the description all the parts and lists of everything are going to be down there and linked make it super easy for you guys but yeah let's get right into it uh, i'll show you guys how to wire up the throttle real quick which is real simple three wires um, and then we'll do the dkd display now like i said this is a continuation of that how-to video i just recently did for the bomb moto so everything that we have done in that last video is going to transfer right over to plugging this in the only thing we'll be adding is a single pin connector and then for this this will go right into our three pin connector for our throttle in that last video as well so it should be a super easy video let me go ahead and tear all this stuff down and show you how to do it so as you can see we have our fake suron throttle and then uh, all the wiring that I did in the previous video I'll put a link for that right up top here that way if you guys aren't caught up yet and want to know how I wired all this stuff up you can go check that out and then that's that video will lead right into wiring this stuff up only difference is is instead of hooking up your uh, regular throttle we're going to be hooking up our Suron throttle um, now obviously this one is fake otherwise it would say Suron right here uh, but this one so far it's been pretty awesome it's got great spring strength um, it feels nice and solid got this metal base right here uh, and especially with these pillow top grips it just feels super good uh, the only difference is is the color itself now it might be kind of hard to see but basically we have our brown black and blue now if we come to our far driver harness you know we always have green black and red so all you got to do is match up black to black, blue to green, and brown to red. Very, very simple. Um, now, if yours for some reason doesn't have the same color coding, just go black to black. And then what you can do is put your other two colors to green or red, turn your controller on. Um, now with the far driver, if uh, you have it plugged in, it just won't do anything. So you go ahead, twist the throttle, nothing happens. Go ahead and de-pin these two opposite wires and flip them around and it should work perfect. Uh, but like I said, this should do it for you. So like I said, blue to green, black to black, and brown to red. And that'll get you a nice, comfortable, feel good surround throttle. Cheapy cheapy. Uh, link for this in the description. Now, I did sign up for the Amazon affiliate links. So if you guys purchase through my links, I will get a little small cut, anything to help the channel buy new parts. Um, so here we go, we have the DKD display. Now this is going to be very simple. Uh, all we're gonna be using is three wires. So if you remember the last video, uh, we have these two two pin connectors. And basically this one is going to be for your key. You can see you have the red going to battery positive. You have the orange going to the controller ignition and then we robbed that 72 volt signal off of the ignition wire and then we robbed one of these grounds so we could run our small voltmeter this one being the bar voltmeter or the flush fit so basically we're going to be using this power to power up the dkd instead and then from there all we need to do is plug in our one line signal now, I don't know if this is strictly a 72, or 72 450 and 72 680 thing now, but now the one line communication is through the brown boost wire. Uh, this will be paired with a 
blue wire with a red stripe down it on a two pin connector like this. So what I did is I just chopped it off and put a single pin connector onto it. Um, now if that one doesn't work for you, what you're gonna do is use light blue. This was originally the one line communication wire um, and it may still be for like your 72300 or anything else. As far as I know, the FAR drivers made after this year um, all come with one line communication, so it should hook right up. Uh, you have the DKD from wherever you buy it, whether it be AliExpress or you find it on eBay. So far, cheapest I've found this on Ally is 60 bucks. Um, now you can purchase these with your FAR driver if you go directly through FAR driver and email them. Um, I'll put an email right here for FAR driver and I'll also put it in the link, but you just gotta ask them for the DKD. Uh, I got mine through my QS165 kit on my Mototech, if you guys remember that back a while ago. And it actually came with this little pack of the other side connector and all these little blade connectors, blade pins, whatever you wanna call them. So this ended up working out for me if not, what you'll have to do is just cut the stock connector and you'll only need three wires from it. Um, now, if you hook up a light kit in the future, which um, I was going to do the reducer in this video as well, but I think we'll save that for a separate video. Uh, but this will have high beam, low beam lights. It'll have your blinker left and right. Uh, but with one line just hooked up how it is, we will have speed, we will have amp draw, uh, we will have modes one, two, and three, and then we will have a battery bar as well. Now I do wanna run this with my uh, voltmeter, that way I can see exact voltage. So what I will be doing is powering uh, the DKD and my voltmeter through one of these wires. So I'm actually gonna make a little pigtail that plugs into this and has an extra wire coming out of it for that. But first, let's get you into how you're going to power up your DKD display if you just want to run this separately. All right, so first thing, like I said, we have this plug already pre-made. And uh, what I ended up doing was reusing this stock connector and making myself another connector. So like I said, I got that little pack with the opposite side, so this plugs right in. I went ahead and pinned it. Like I said, it's always good to grab yourself a set of these here waterproof connectors with the crimper because this crimper actually worked beautifully for the pins that they uh, provided me like i said all links will be in the description so very very simple when you get your dkd display you're going to have a bunch of these wires the only ones you want to focus on are going to be your yellow with a white stripe that is going to be your one line signal so that yellow you're going to attach to your brown. As you can see, I just kind of matched up a brown wire that I had, so yellow to brown. Then we connect that directly into our one pin, and that is going to give our one line communication. Now our next two wires are going to be blue with a white stripe through it, and we're going to have purple. Purple is going to be your ground, which going off this connector, we will attach to the ground. And then your blue with your white stripe is going to red. So very easy. Like I said, I just have these connected straight through. So that way when I plug this in, we got purple running straight through into our ground. And we got blue with the white stripe running straight through into our power, robbing off of our key switch. So now when we turn our key on, like you saw earlier in the video, it's going to turn the one, uh, the DKD display right on. And it's as simple as that, guys. Super easy. So I think what I'm going to do now is uh, go ahead, plug all this back in. And then I will show you where you can find the manual to set this up, just in case it's not working out. Uh, from the factory, they should have this sent to you to work perfect with a 12-inch wheel, which is perfect on the Bomb Moto. But uh, back in the day, not even back in the day, it was like a year, or maybe a little, somewhere around a year ago, um, I actually had to go in the display itself and change the parameters to work with my wheel size. Uh, you'll probably have to do that same thing if you're running a 10-inch razor wheel. 
if you're putting this on a razor or something but I'll go ahead and I'll put up uh, the picture I guess of what you need to do and I think I might even have a video to link for you guys uh, that'll all be down in the description so make sure you go through all that stuff and should get you completely covered cool deal let's go ahead and plug it all in all right jump the gun again real quick what I wanted to show you guys is I made this splitter right here for the key um, so basically it's just two positives going into one side two negatives going into the other side one of the positive negatives going to one of my pins or two pin connectors and two of them going into the other side so that way when I go to my key switch or my uh, my voltmeter where I rob power from the key switch I can plug this in just like so and now I have room to plug in not only my DKD display but I also have room to plug in my voltmeter that way I can get accurate voltage or later on down the road I can use this power to turn on the ignition on my 12 volt reducer that way it'll turn on with the key switch and send 12 volt power nice and clean super simple we got our voltmeter we got our DKD display all switched power uh, now if you did if you wanted to you could just hook this directly up to battery power just throw some ring terminals on it and uh, bolt it down with the um, battery lead lugs on the controller that way you can actually turn this on and off you can go battery gauge to voltage I just like having everything on a key switch makes it super easy no buttons to press now I'm sure you guys have noticed this bar right here blinking uh, this is what would be your battery bar so you got low and high with a little battery signal um, and obviously I don't have my three-speed button hooked up in here yet I still got to take these out drill a hole and put my little three speed but that'll change three to one with it um, let's see our wheel is off the ground right now let's see we got speed obviously it's way too high because I have it set up for uh, my moto tech back out over there so we do need to change that as you can see the little gauge right over here showing our amps but yeah it's pretty cool uh, we do actually have reverse as well. I made a little short. Um, you can hook up a reverse button, and once you press the button, it'll go from D to R. So if you wanted to do that as well. Now this also, um, it has uh, blinker indicators that you can hook up later on. That's kind of a separate 12-volt system. It also has a bright and low beam indicator on it. So you can hook those up later. Uh, if you guys have been following the Mototech build, you know that's all like pre-wired in for my QS set. But uh, yeah, I wanted to show you more on this clamp right here for the DKD display. Shout out to my boy Marcos, man, always making some killer products. 3D printed, it's gonna be nice and strong. Bolts right up. Obviously I don't have this bolted on. But uh, you got your three, three bolts right here, and you got your three holes for bolts right there. So super easy to put on there. Looks super clean, and uh, I like I really like it with this uh, voltmeter. The way I can check my exact voltage, but I also have my bar gauge right here with my speed. Everything pretty cool. All right, you guys. As you can see, I got my battery bar. We're at 50 volts, so it took off one bar right there. So it's pretty accurate, it's not too bad. Uh, my speed, definitely not doing 48, so I'm gonna have to adjust through that stuff. Uh, but like I said, I'll put a picture right here. You guys can pause it, screenshot it. Um, I'll leave a link to where you can actually download the file to, for the instructions right here. Um, but basically, you have a button back here and a button back here. So you're gonna hold this left button for a little bit just hold it wait for it and then a screen is going to pop up and say cc um, now that that list i gave you it's got a whole bunch of codes for it so the left one is to go through your numbers and ascending order and then it'll drop back down the right one will move it over back to the left we'll go to one five Go to our right, and then we'll put in three, 
and then it jumped over right away. So this number is going to be uh, your circumference and then if you're not quick enough it will jump over to the next screen. If you're not doing anything it'll jump over to the screen after that and then you'll have to restart put the code in. So make sure you got it pretty quick. Uh, now the 28 is going to be um, your pull pairs times your gear ratio. So let's say we're running like a, I think this is like a seven to one. It's probably like seven, four or something to one. So we would do 7.4 times four to get your 28. And then your offset, I have absolutely no idea. Uh, for my Mototech, I just left it at 08 and it ended up working. Like I said, I'll have to figure it out more. Hopefully, when you guys get your DKD display for your bomb moto or whatever 12 inch wheel you have, it'll work just fine. Um, and then there's a few others that I'm probably not gonna get too into, but basically you can change from mile per hour to kilometers per hour. Um, you have a setting to change for your basic uh, voltage. So you can do 48 volt all the way up to 96 volts. Then you have an option to dial it in. So right now we're at 50 volts. So I went to that option, put in 50 volts. And as you can see, we're missing a bar, which is right on it. Uh, you can change your odometer and zero it out up to three times. So make sure you don't waste that. But yeah, um, pretty simple stuff. It's not too bad. You just got to get the uh, formula down for the speed. Like I said, hopefully you guys won't even have to mess with it. They said the far drivers, um, sh you should be able to mess with the speed directly through the far driver, putting in your wheel diameter, your wheel ratio, all that good stuff. In my case, I've already messed with this thing too much, so I'm gonna have to put it back to stock and see how it goes. But yeah, guys, the main point of this video is to show you how easy it is to plug in the, your DKD display, um, your Suron throttle, and this is all going to follow my how to wire a simple far driver kit video. So yeah, guys, let me know if this helped you out. And if it did, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And until next time, peace. If you made it to the end of this video, I appreciate you. And I definitely didn't want to leave you hanging. So I ended up messing around with this after I finished all the filming. And uh, what I wanted to do is show you my settings. So I'll show you what I got going on in the DKD. That way if yours does not end up reading speed correctly at first, um, I have a 12 inch wheel with the Kenda 190-12. Uh, so let's see, I'll show you real quick. So I got 1214 for the first section, wait for it. And then I got 28-08, which is actually come standard. Um, and that's it for that. And then right here, I will put up a screenshot of my uh, display settings in the Far Driver app itself. So basically I just changed my wheel ratios, all that stuff to match the tire I am using. And uh, I changed my pulse down to four, three. I'm, I'm not sure, I'm not looking at it right now. But as you can see, it's not just immediately jumping up to 40. I uh, busted out my cheesy little GPS app and it was dead on all the way to 30 miles per hour. Obviously, I can't stretch it very far down my road um, and I will be doing more testing, but this should get you right in the ballpark. All right, guys, that's it. See you later.